Hi, in this next video I'm going to show you two hidden features that you have within Google Docs that do not take any add-ons or anything like that. They are built-in features and show you how to make Google Docs a little bit more effective for you. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Explore button. You've probably seen it down here uh, on your screen not really knowing what it means. If you go up into Tools, you can see up here I also have the Explore button there. So if I go ahead and let's say I have this Great Gatsby web quest about the 1920s that I would want the kids to work on. What I can do is I can click on the Explore button, and the Explore button will kind of read through my text to see what kind of topics I have in there, what are some of the things I have in bold, some of the headings, and what are some of the common themes that come up. So you can see, obviously, it talks about, uh, you know, obviously, F. Scott Fitzgerald, the author. It will bring up images based off some of the words that I have within the doc, as well as bring up some related web searches. Now, the great thing about the Explore button is if you actually play around with it, um, you can actually just drag images directly into here. So I don't need to open up a new tab or anything like that. I have these images here, drag these images over, and now they're right in my doc. If I wanted to add in some historical stuff or some website stuff, I could simply just drag it over, and that little bit of text that comes with it, a little bit of text that gives the description, uh, will come up and it will actually cite it for you, putting it at the bottom uh, of the page, which is kind of nice. Now another great feature of the Explore button is if I just search F. Scott Fitzgerald, again, it'll pull up some web searches for me. It will, uh, I can search images of F. Scott Fitzgerald. Uh, I can even search my Google Drive and see what I have in there and pull up documents related to it. So again, same, same as I did before, if I had, let's say, a web thing or an image, I can now search my images uh, right here with the Explore button. I don't need to go into a new tab, drag it to my desktop and hit, go through that whole feature. I can just take it right here throw it in and the nice part about it is with that image um, or I could just kind of click on the plus button and that image will be added as well. So two great features uh, with the Explore button, a few different things you can do. The last thing I'm going to show you which I really like is this is a very very new addition to Google Drive just a few days ago is if you click on tools you're going to notice you see Keep Notepad. Now some of you may not know but you actually have a notepad, an online notepad that syncs with your Google account we can keep all your notes and things like that or things, uh, grocery lists and things of that nature. So if I click on Keep Notepad, what it's going to do is going to open up my Google Keep over here on the right side. Now if I want to go ahead and take a note, let's say I want to take a note on this Gatsby web quest, I could title this. Then I could take a note uh, for myself so I remember something for later. Remember to make 30 copies and tell the kids about the test. So when I do that, I now have the Gatsby WebQuest note done. So if I open up my Google Keep, I'll see that I have a note there. But the great part about the note is when I click on that, it will also give me a link directly to the document that I was writing about. So it links the note as well as the document back and forth, which is a great feature. So for example, if I was over here and I wanted to take a note for the kids, and let's say uh, reminders for kids. Um, be sure to check your be sure to check your sources. And I want to make sure that they have that reminder on their web quest. Going back into my web quest, if I were to close out of here and then come back to keep for notepad. Um, you will see I can take any note that I write over here or that I've written in my Google Keep and I can actually take that note and I can actually drag that note right into my Google Doc and there's no formatting, you don't need to worry about copying and pasting or anything like that, everything is there, drag it over and you're good to go. So those are two easy built-in features with Google Docs, hopefully help uh, you move a little quicker through things as you're creating documents and doing things for your kids. Thank you very much.